Today on Outside the Box Reviews, I am having the State of the Collection video. Now I did this last year, I had a one update video, and I originally intended to call it the State of the Collection video, kind of riffing off of February being State of the Union address normally for presidential crap. And I had intended to shoot more than one in the year, didn't really come to happen, so since I am making it an annual thing at least at this point, I figure I'll just go with a new name. But anyway, I have amassed quite a bit of stuff in the last year, and I am currently in the process of figuring out a better way to display things. So, as you can see here, we have on the left the old style shelving I was using, and then on the right, it's the new style that I'm going to be using from here on. But I'm going to go through the figures and give you guys a little tour of what's in the collection right now. It's one thing to point out here with these shelves, it's kind of maybe hard to see here, but... They actually are starting to bow on the edges and everything. They're just not the best made shelves. And these new shelving units, it's actually a modular system. I could change the height if I want. I could change the way the shelves go on there. It's a really nice setup. So definitely recommend these to any other collectors who want to have shelves like these. I like these a lot. Going to start up here with the old shelves. I actually have to get into a ladder to look at these. But up in the front I have all my Jasons of the NECA Part 2. I have all three of the Part 3 figures, two NECA, one Mezco, same story with the Part 4. Got my custom Part 5 Roy back there, the Mezco Part 6, NECA Part 7, no Part 8. My custom one is being reworked at the moment, it's been slow going. My Jason Goes to Hell from Mezco, McFarlane Jason X, NECA Freddy vs. Jason, and the Mezco and NECA remake Friday the 13th. Back over, you can see in there I got the Hellraiser box, little replica. The Chatter Beast is in there somewhere. I can't really even get my camera on right now. I got Pinhead, Skinless Julia, two different Chatters from Hellraiser 1 and 2. Candyman, Zombie Ghost Face. This is my, like, southwest corner over here. I got Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I have Leatherface from the first from Mezco. I have the suit Leatherface from NECA, which I actually picked up at Toys R Us, like, last week. They brought out a case of the old NECA cult classics figures. Kind of weird. Then my remake, Leatherface, here. In the back, I got Machete, which is an awesome character, but not a great figure. And Bubba Hotep. And coming over here, I got Custom Cropsy, Custom Leslie Vernon. It's actually two customs, and the official DeConte Collectibles release. My beach bum zombie back there. Got Killer Clown from Outer Space Shorty. Sam from Trick or Treat. My Michael Myers. I have the in the front. I have the Evolution of Evil collection, which is the original movie, and Young Mikey with the tombstone and the pumpkin. I have the remake from NECA and the sequel to the remake from Mezco. A bunch of Evil Dead stuff. The two McFarlane, the Ash and Evil Ash from Army of Darkness. The NECA Army of Darkness in the middle. Dead-Eyed Ash, Farewell to Arms Ash, Henrietta looking scary as all hell, and of course, Hero Ash. Coming back over here, we have some of the 12-inch, my custom part 4 Jason, the Sideshow Collectibles, Jason Goes to Hell, Mezco part 7 Jason, and my custom Michael Myers from the original Halloween. Coming up to the Freddy shelf, I've got the NECA part 1 and Mezco part 1 Freddy's. The NECA Part 2. The NECA Part 3. We got two different Part 3s there from NECA and the one in the middle from Mezco. Two in the middle if you count the skeleton version. We got a couple from Part 4 here with the surgeon and the death scene. And a couple from Part 5 from both companies. Then the NECA New Nightmare remakes. In the back here, you can see my $2 find, the Debbie figure from Mezco, which is really crappy, but still. Two bucks, can't complain. In the back here I have my Part 1 replica glove from NECA. My Sideshow Part 3. The Mezco Stylized Freddy. My custom Freddy vs. Jason that has Robert Englund's signature on the base. And I really need to redo that head because that head is ugly. And then the remake glove from NECA. And of course I have all the accessories down here along the bottom, all kinds of stuff. I didn't really show them with the Jasons and all that. Right now I have the dedicated Freddy shelf. When I have this all said and done, I will have a dedicated Jason shelf as well. That's basically how I'm planning to run this. And then 
I'll have my miscellaneous horror on their own separate shelf. Coming down a notch, this shelf is kind of a hodgepodge, but mostly Terminator. I, got, I have both versions of the Tech Nor over there. I have both versions of him with the leather jacket from Part 1, the Kyle Reese, Pescadero Escape Terminator 2, Man or Machine, the Cyberdyne Showdown, the Steel Mill Final Battle one there, not the Steel Mill, the Final Battle, and a bunch of different versions of the T-1000, including the Comic-Con exclusive that I just found at Toys R Us, which is weird as hell. In the back here I have a few Iron Maiden figures, two from NECA, one a custom that I made myself. The endoskeletons back there from NECA, and the Playmates T1 from Terminator 4. McFarlane, Terminatrix, TX, whatever you want to call them. The two NECA Robocops. And Gizmos hiding out back there. Of course, the bread and butter of my collection, it seems, is the Predator stuff. So this spans a shelf and a half. So I have the Predators from Predators, I guess, back here. I got the Tracker's dog, the Tracker himself. Back there, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Berserker Cloaked, which I also found at Toys R Us. The Masked Berserker, Unmasked Berserker, Falconer. I got the two semi-cloaked ones back there. I have the Classic from Predators. Then I have my AVP stuff. I got Celtic in the back and the two Wolves. Or Wolves. I don't know. How do you want to call that? Comic-Con exclusive Gort, which is one I actually did get at the time of Comic-Con. The Big Red that was recently released. Full Lost Tribe in here. I just had to double check today to make sure that trophy wall is going to fit in my collection, and I believe it will. It says it's going to be about 12 inches tall. I've got around 13 inches of clearance, so I think everything will be good with the new setup. And of course, I got all my different versions of the City Hunter back over here. Switching over to the other shelf, I have my shrine to the classic Jungle Hunter. So, masked, unmasked, cloaked. All that good stuff in there. The cloaked are really hard to see in this video. Then, I kind of make the transition over to Aliens and Prometheus. So I have the two single-release Prometheus figures and the two-pack there in the back of the trilobite. So he is still in constant rapage mode back there, which is kind of disturbing. And a fun conversation point when people walk in here. I've got my alien stuff. Queen in the back. Can't wait to get the NECA one coming out later this year. Aliens from each of the four original movies, and I got Hicks, so I can't wait to do a Figure Wars with him once the new NECA one comes out. And of course, I have my display base with the eggs and the face hugger. Come down again, I got my Universal Horror Shelf. I have the Mezco stylized Frankenstein. I got Bride of Frankenstein. I got Frankenstein's monster himself. This is my little Karloff corner over here because I got the mummy as well. And kind of got father and son going on here. Lon Chaney Sr. as Phantom of the Opera and Lon Chaney Jr. as the Wolfman. Remake Wolfman there in the back. I have the Dracula that doesn't look like any freaking actor who ever played Dracula that I know of. I got the Invisible Man. And my Creature from the Black Lagoon, the figure and the bust bank, which I love. Coming down here to the first of several bits of Godzilla around the room. These are all my vinyl figures from Bandai. So I got Destroya, a bunch of different Godzillas here in the front through the ages. King Ghidorah, Hedora. I got Mothra flying up there in the back suspended by strings. I got a couple different versions of Gigan. I got King Caesar, Mecha Godzilla, Rodan, Space Godzilla, and my favorite Anguirus. Down another shelf, one of the few places I have packaging on display in my room. I got my Ninja Turtle shelves. So I have these cool bubbles that came with the Classics line. I felt like they were a good backdrop of nothing else. And here I have all my Classics figures with their vintage counterpart, which I love. And off to the sides I have the ones from the new TV show, which don't get quite as much love for me, but these ones in the middle here are where it's at for me as an old school Ninja Turtles fan. Down here I got some little book things, but I have my two replica Jason hockey masks. This one from Fiberglass Masks. This one from NECA. Down a little bit here, I have some vintage, or 90s at least, Trend Masters Godzilla. I've got the 10-inch Godzilla. I've got the Mecha Godzilla, and I have the Mothra. Over here on top of this computer monitor, I have a plush face hugger that I got for Christmas for my girlfriend. And these, these aren't where they're supposed to be, but they're just some Evangelion figures I wanted to eventually review. So I got the Unit 0, Unit 1, Unit 3, and Unit 4 from two different companies. And then the shattered remains of a Rodan statue model kit thing that I'm trying to put back together and repaint. Down here I have the Mezco Mezit Tumbler from Batman. 
and a bunch of stuff I'm planning to sell on eBay. I have almost a full box line of Twisted Land of Oz and the Captain Jack Sparrow figure from NECA. Those are all kind of being sold semi on consignment for somebody else. I need to get them up on eBay though. I have kind of my high end shelf up here. I've got the Marvel Select Hulk, which isn't really high end. But I have the two hot toys in the house, my Red Skull, my girlfriend's baby doll, and my Sentinel from Marvel Universe. Kind of a hodgepodge shelf up here. It's going to get cleaned up as well, but just something I wanted to put stuff on that I liked that was kind of larger. Down here I have the beginnings of a diorama for my new favorite figure line, the SH Monster Arts line. So I have my Godzilla, my Mecha Godzilla, my King Ghidorah, and my Rodan all here, all battling it out in a little bit of a cityscape. If I back up a little bit, you can kind of see I got some cardboard buildings in there right now, or some cardstock buildings, really. I'm going to clean it up, going to give it more of a purpose, but really I'm waiting to see what more I'm going to buy, because I want to make sure I have enough room. Down here, I kind of have my cutesy vinyl shelf. I got my pop vinyls, which Funko's put out some awesome new horror ones this year, so super psyched about that. My custom baby face from The Hills Run Red. Mighty Mug back there. Love that movie. Yeah, if you're a horror slasher fan haven't seen that movie, I suggest checking it out. Kind of a fun one there. My Assassin's Creed display. Eventually I'm going to get another shelf and make a whole video game display. But I got my roleplay gauntlet. And I have the first four Ezio's. And hopefully McFarlane will give me one that fits in scale with these guys. Over here I have my Universal Horror Mini Mates. I have the six here as black and white ones with a custom background display shelf. So Hunchback... Dracula, Frankenstein's Monster, Mummy, Wolfman, and Creature from the Black Lagoon. Then we come down here and we have the color ones. So the top is the Mummy with a Sarcophagus. And we have Dr. Frankenstein and his Monster, the Bride of Frankenstein and the Angry Villager, Van Helsing with Dracula, Creature from the Black Lagoon with Dr. Reed, uh, Captain Phobos, I think, from Hunchback, along with the Hunchback himself, and of course the Wolfman and Larry Talbot there at the bottom right. For randomness sake, I have a giant bust or taxidermy piece of a werewolf hanging on the wall. It was a Halloween decoration that we didn't have anywhere else to put it, so it kind of found its way into my office. And then, for some reason, these little critters have been crawling all over my office lately. Just everywhere I look, there's these little green gremlin-y things just hanging off the air vents. Or sometimes they just hang out by the windows and stare at stuff. Or even like sitting on top of my hard drives and stuff. It's kind of creepy. I don't know what they want from me. Got my little zombie G.I. Joe down there. The only G.I. Joe I've bought since I was a kid. But I love the zombie thing going on. A couple blind box things I picked up recently. Two of the portal turrets and two of the micro mugs from Iron Man 3. Got that new 6 inch bleeding edge armor as well. And my desk's a mess with full of stuff. Then, of course, the really sad parts of my collection. I got all my MU down here just in a tote. They're all just kind of thrown in there and not really displayed well. Hopefully that will change eventually. And then here in the closet, I have even more stuff that I'm not displaying. I have a few legends in here. I have some of the video game figures. I got those Jazzwares, Ren and Stimpy that suck. Some Star Wars crap in there. Video game characters, I didn't say that already. My Avengers stuff is somewhere in this pile here. All my Avengers movie figures at least the uh marvel movie and avengers movie and then up here i got the twisted land of oz and a couple other odds and ends back here just stuff i don't have a place to display yet and i'm eventually going to get there and then back here is the wall of boxes all the sh monster arts and hot toys and sideshow i keep their boxes up here here i have a corgi it's a very important part of the collection and a very animated piece great articulation on this one even though the legs are a little short I have a metric buttload of DVDs in here, tons of horror DVDs, sci-fi, Avengers, all kinds of stuff. I have more DVDs in another room as well, but this is just what I keep in my office. I've got my custom Casey Jones mask that I made for Halloween. It's all basically paper craft and latex. It's kind of a weird little creation there. I have a big Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster wall scroll. I love this art. It's just so big it's hard to find a place to display it, so it kind of gets the door opened up and covering it most of the time. but. I love this poster. Up here I have a few different posters. I tried to go for a style that was kind of neat. So I got picked foreign posters that were all kind of an older style artwork for the most part. I have a French Creepshow poster, a Japanese Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah poster, 
an American Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster, and an Italian Night of the Living Dead poster. And back over here I have my horror convention wall, which I have a bunch of programs and autographs. So I went to the Spooky Empire Horror Convention in Orlando two times so far. Hopefully going to go back this year again. So I have the programs from each year, the lunch menu from each year, and the wristbands for me and my girlfriend going. Over here I have Daniel Harris from Halloween movies and Hatchet and stuff, signed image. I have a picture of Freddy Krueger because I got Robert Englund to sign the base of my figure. So I don't have his autograph on a picture, but I do have a Freddy piece right there. Kane Hodder, Jason Voorhees, Danny Trejo, Machete, Bill Mosley, Chop Top from Texas Chainsaw 2, Devil's Rejects, all kinds of good stuff. Derek Mears remake Jason and the Predators in the new Predator movie, or a few of them, or one of them, I don't even remember which ones he played anymore. Doug Bradley, Pinhead and Hellraiser. And Tony Todd, the infamous Candyman himself, I actually had him sign a Reverend Zombie picture because I freaking love Hatchet. So that is it for the State of the Collection video for 2013. I may end up doing updates as I get this whole thing put together because I am excited to get the shelving set up and looking good. But hopefully you enjoyed my collection update. And if you saw anything I haven't reviewed that you want to see a review of, let me know. Doesn't mean I'll necessarily do it anytime soon, but uh, it'll at least put it in my head as something people want to see. So, yeah, make sure you check me out on Facebook as well. Link in the description as always. I'll post pictures on there, all of us, of the stuff I get. And when I get shelving updates, it goes there first for sure. And I will see you guys next time with another Outside the Box review.